It is time for some more Minecraft bingo. I have peered into the future using my connections to realize that seed 7209 will be one of next week's seeds so that I can record it ahead of time. And so it's got the card that is pictured here. And looking at this card, most reliable, straightforward thing to go for is the fourth row from the gunpowder to the cauldron. However, if we find a golden apple in a dungeon early, then the first column is quite doable. And if we can find a watermelon, the second column also has some possibilities. But I think my expectation is that I will be going for the fourth row, which means we're going to need a spruce sapling and some iron. Spruce sapling will be easy to get right here. Well, it will be easy to get in a mega taiga, actually. Yeah, there will be some smaller taiga trees as well. Uh, so I should be able to get that sapling. And then 13 iron downstairs, and then the gunpowder and string that we need for the fishing pole will be the more difficult the bits to get in all likelihood. But let's figure out, it looks like over in this direction, there will be some trees that are going to be good for trying to gather the spruce sapling and so I'm going to choose to chop down these trees so that while we're gathering wood we'll hopefully have a good shot at getting our sapling and so I guess I'll chop down one of these trees and try to verify that it's decaying um, the leaf decay before I go starting to craft up my various tools and things and darn it, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> tree is just a little bit too tall. Oh, it's a lot of bit too tall. Why did I pick this tree? This was the worst tree ever. <laughs> All right, we're going to break another block below me again. All right, more wood than I wanted. But there we go. I'm not even going to look back to see if it's uh, breaking up right now. Let's go ahead and get our, get our tools going as this is a race. It's important to go, go, go. So, um, for getting downstairs to get the iron and things, I suppose trying to find a cave is probably the best thing to do to move quickly. Although, I could just dig down since it's, eh, I'm gonna need at least like two pockets of iron and digging down. I don't feel bad about that as a strategy for trying to like get six iron or something, but for more than that, it can be a bad, a bad choice because sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to, and you don't find any caves, and you get stuck underground, and blah, 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 blah. All right, I don't think I have to kill that many mobs, so I'm not going to worry about making a sword. I'm going to run over here and see if we got the sapling. We did. Great. Um, so, let's look for a cave. Actually, is this a dungeon? No, but it is some kind of cave, and it does look like there's air pockets here. So let's run down here. Here's some iron. Nice little start. And once again, I said I'm going to need 6 plus 7 is 13 iron. This looks like I've got 5 of it right here. And here's two more pockets. All right, this will be all the iron that we need. That was fortunate. Uh, so if that's the case, then it would be useful for me to go ahead and get some of it cooking. So let's go ahead and get one furnace at least down on the ground to be cooking that up while I'm digging up the rest. I've already got 8, so 9. 10, 11, 12, 13 is all I'm going to need. Um, and some coal to cook up the rest could be good. And now I still need to find gunpowder and string. So I'm going to need another cave system to do that probably. Uh, and yeah, I can't think of anything else that I would want to do. So let's go ahead and pack this up. And just go try to find uh, another cave that has lots of mobs in it. Or a spawner chest that has the things I seek. Um, any gunpowder and um, no pumpkins. There's the string. Okay, so that's one of the things I needed. And then gunpowder. Is there gunpowder in here? If there is, we're going to get a really good time. There is. I think we're going to get a really good time. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, but fortunate. Um, let's get this back down on the ground, um, and I probably, yeah, you know what, let's get six more and get a second furnace going, because that's going to take like a hundred seconds or something. Oops. 
Okay, I've got my eight. I can just swim across here. Let's make a second furnace to divide this up. And then we can go fishing. All right. Um, one of you can go back in here. You can go in here. We need to go fishing. Uh, let's get our fish. Hey, there's a wolf. Hi, wolfy wolf. Yeah, this could be a really great time, actually. I think we might be able to get under five minutes if we're really lucky. Here comes a fish. Great. And, oops, crap. Okay, don't fall in. I need to make a cauldron, and I need to make rails. And I've got the stick for the rails. And, um... All right, yeah, I think this will be it. Oops, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Hooray, four minutes, 48 seconds. Wow. Um, that was super lucky just because of the fact that there happened to be a dungeon with what I needed right there with the string and the gunpowder. So I didn't have to fight any mobs. I happened to stumble into a cave that had all of the iron that we were going to need. And the spruce sapling was obviously easy to get at the beginning, so I actually didn't notice how close that was to spawn, if it was likely that everyone was going to see that and find that. Um, it might have been visible from the skybox that there was the dungeon there just underwater, so I'm not sure. I'll be curious to see how other people do on this particular card, but I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Minecraft Bingo. Bye-bye.